Thanks for staying with us. I'm Bill O'Reilly in the Is a Legal segment tonight. Three hot topics, beginning with a discrimination lawsuit against the program American Idol. Ten former Idol contestants, all African American, have filed a federal suit. And now the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission says they have a right to go forward. With us, attorneys and Fox News legal analysts, Kimberly Guilfoyle and Lisa Wheel. So, Wheel, why was the EEOC even involved in this? Because when you have a private lawsuit against a company and you say you're an employee and you've suffered discrimination, you have to go through the EEOC. The EEOC can then say, we want to file the lawsuit for you. They can say you don't have a claim, or they can give you a right to sue, which is what happened here. Which All right, so the, the government's forward. not getting involved, but not they say involved. these guys can go ahead. Right. Uh, and they claim what? They claim discrimination. They claim that they were these contestants, these 10 contestants over all of these years, Years. They're African American, you know, not white, and they never, they were always booed out by the producers, not. But wasn't the, it Guilfoyle that they had a record or something? Yeah, yeah but, but basically they're saying fraud and interference with economic, you know, prize winning and the whole deal that this was a corrupt thing that American Idol used these men, put them forward, and did this kind of mongering against them to create a scandal to boost ratings. Therefore, they each want $25 million did, did in all damages. Of them, do all of them have Arrest records? records. Records. Eight out of ten of them have records, and the other two lied about on well, their application. Okay, so they're claiming right. that they were or used and abused. Anyway. Right, right. This doesn't sound credible to me it, at it, all. It doesn't. Here's here's Terrible. a legal standpoint, though. They will not go forward because they are not going to be considered employees by a judge. So you think it's going to get thrown out I think in summary it's judgment? Get thrown in summary judgment. Exactly. On those right. grounds. On those and, grounds. And the sleazy lawyers who who tick up cases like this are just value. hoping that Fox. We'll wants settle. to get rid of it right. and say, right. think about it. They're on contestants. And they get a third. They're not right. employees of American Idol. And right. who says you get to lie and okay. cheat and steal? I don't want to try the case on the TV, award. but there's so many of these bogus cases. Right. Now, corporate America is under siege by these right. things. Right, it's terrible. Okay, now we have uh, closing arguments in the Jackson case sure. uh, versus this concert uh, promoter. AEG. Okay, Jackson, mm -hmm. Michael Jackson died from this gas that was administered by a doctor hired by this concert promoter. And that's the attorney, Brian uh, Parrish, for All the Jackson. All right, he's uh, for the Jackson. And family right. and they want a lot of money from the concert promoter. Are they going to win? Potentially $1 billion. One in billion with a B. Because, yes, correct. One billion. That. Because at the time of Michael Jackson's death, 50 years of age, they presented experts to say that he would have a right. long and lucrative What are the career. odds that the Jackson family I think win? they are going to prevail in this lawsuit that it was negligent hiring by AEG. It so AEG down. hired a bad doctor, right. and that's why they lose. You right. concur? So, I concur, except the contract was never signed. So there's, there's a problem. Well, signed by the, Dr. There's Murray. A, there's a Sign, there's a problem with AEG. They'll not sign the contract. The other thing is, I agree with Kimberly. They will get something. The family will get something. Mm -hmm. They're not going to get one. The billion jury will. The jury makes the award, and then the judge has to affirm right. it. Right. Contributory negligence. Right. The, okay. the, the judge is going to find. Look, even whatever you give, you got to bring it down a little bit right. because the family. So we should know as within well. the next week yes, or ten days. You know what's yes. so important about well, this? What? Only nine out of the twelve jurors have to agree, and it's not the standard like in a criminal case. It's just more True. likely than not. Okay. And Same thing with the O.J. Simpson civil. Yeah, right, All right, right, right. All right, in New York City, which is falling apart very quickly, um, a teacher, 34-year-old um, Damien Esteban, right. mm -hmm. um, was arrested with 20 bags of heroin. That's a lot of heroin. So either, he's either a hardcore addict or a dealer or both. All right? Mm -hmm. So uh, you would expect that a high school teacher would be fired after that. But a judge has reinstated him, exactly. Wheel, on the grounds of what? <laughs> Saying, that, oh, you know, you couldn't show that, that those 20 bags of heroin really had anything to do with his ability to, to function teach. in the classroom. Oh, I see. Well, you I see. his judgment. Right. By the way, so the after judge, school, right. he can shoot up. <laughs> that's the but judge. But that's okay. You didn't that's set it up judge. all the way, though. You didn't say right. that Manuel the heroin Mendes. was found when he was on jury duty. For a murder trial. Okay. He went in for a murder trial. Went but out. This is, see, this is symptomatic oh. of what's going on in New York City. Oh, yeah. But this Anything is goes, even in the classroom. But do you, yeah. They don't care. Can you imagine this if you're a high wrong. school kid, you're walking in and your no. teachers Got the, oh, with, with 20 bags? This isn't pot. No. This is it's very, it's very serious. And so they say, well, did it, the judge said this shocks the conscience of the court that this man would be just still teaching. You know what his defense was? You're 100% right. This is all my heroin. I only use heroin on the weekends. On the weekends, everyone. On the weekend heroin. Or, weekend. or holidays. <laughs> holidays, <laughs> holidays. Holidays, too. When school is out. Right. That's the only time I yeah, use the heroin. Yeah. No, it's crazy. And then he says, you can't fire me because you didn't fire the crack the other, addict right. teacher and the oh. one that was there two other cases. And the union right. said, oh, no, right. no, no, no. no it's okay. And by the way, he doesn't even want to teach. He He's doesn't want to Of course, that. he wants to use heroin. It's no, cutting into his no, heroin nothing time. Nothing makes me angrier than a lazy oh. heroin right. This is what New York City. He doesn't want to work. Right. I mean, he doesn't want to work. 
What? This yeah. is New York City. Terrible. This is it. This is where we it's live. It's not just New York City, though. It's everywhere. No, else, but this is worse. It's worse. It's here getting here. worse. Here. Well, then, All right. everybody listen up. All right. One foot note, Lee Wheels' new thriller, Fatal Tide, in the bookstores, right? It's very, very frightening, everyone. <laughs> Please check it out. Great Halloween gift.